Carson Wentz followed up an impressive NFL debut with another solid performance, throwing for 190 yards and a touchdown, and the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Chicago Bears 29-14 on Monday night. Wentz showed plenty of poise, just as he did in his debut against Cleveland. The number two overall draft pick completed 21 of 34 passes without an interception despite absorbing several big hits. While Philadelphia was pulling away, Chicago quarterback Jay Cutler walked to the locker room with a right-hand injury and did not return. That was the biggest blow for the Bears, 0-2, who lost several players and fell again after opening with a loss at Houston. It's not the sort of start they envisioned in their second year under coach John Fox after finishing last in the NFC North. But they continued to struggle at home, where they were 1-7 a year ago. Cutler, who completed 12 of 17 passes for 157 yards, walked to the locker room following an interception by Nigel Bradholm late in the third quarter. Cutler was seen having his right hand examined on the sideline early in the third following a strip sack by Destiny Bayo. Brian Hoyer took over for Cutler and was 9 of 12 for 78 yards. Pulling away the Eagles were leading 9-7 late in the third when Matthews bounced off the line and spun outside before lunging in for a three-yard touchdown. With Cutler throwing off his back foot on the next play from scrimmage Bradholm intercepted a pass apparently intended for Alshon Jeffrey, who was about 10 yards behind him, at the 30 and returned it to the 2. Wentz then hit Trey Burton with a touchdown pass to make it 22-7 with 4 seconds left. Neat pass Cutler set up the game's first touchdown when he spun to his left and unloaded a 49-yard heave to Jeffrey that put the ball on the 5 in the opening minute of the second quarter. Langford ran it in from the 1, giving Chicago a 7-3 lead. And the protest Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins and several teammates raised their right fists during the national anthem in a protest prior to their game. Jenkins said Saturday he would lead teammates in a demonstration against social injustice. Cornerback Ron Brooks and defensive end Stephen Means joined him. It was not clear if another Eagles player joined in. Jenkins had insisted the protest would not be an anti-police thing and that police are a key part of the solution in this issue. Injuries Eagles, safety Jalen Watkins suffered a bruised knee. Bears. Linebacker Lamar Houston left the game after injuring his left knee trying to rush the passer in the second quarter. He was tended to on the field by team medical personnel before walking gingerly toward the sideline. Nose tackle Eddie Goldman was taken from the field on a cart with an ankle injury early in the fourth quarter after he was at the bottom of the pile on a running play. Safety Adrian Amos and cornerback Bryce Callahan exited with concussions in the third quarter. Running back Kadeem Carey hurt his hamstring. Here's on J.com's preview of the game, Wentz was named the NFL Pepsi Rookie of the Week for Week 1 after leading the Eagles past the Cleveland Browns in his professional debut, passing for 278 yards and two touchdowns with the passer rating of 101.0. The next test for Wentz is proving that he can win on the road in a hostile environment. Going on Monday Night Football in Chicago, Eagles offensive coordinator Frank Reich said last week. Obviously a very historic place like Solider Field. It's a great football down there. It's an exciting opportunity for the whole team, certainly for Carson as a rookie quarterback going into that environment. It's a lot of fun and good experience. You just stay focused. There's obviously the crowd noise factor. We obviously work that all the time. We practice it all the time, you just have to keep your poise. Keeping your poise is a big thing. Staying consistent in what you do. Having great communication with the offensive line and just an act and feel for the silent count. I think that takes time to develop. We've been working on it all off-season and we're excited to put it to the test on Monday night. The backdrop of Monday night's game is the Eagles' plan, led by veteran safety Malcolm Jenkins to join players across the league in protesting the national anthem. Listen, Eagles head coach Doug Pedersen said Saturday. I respect players' decisions. Everybody has their right to either protest or whatever they are going to do. Malcolm and I have talked about this. It's going to happen regardless of what I decide or say.
and I respect the players' decisions on it. The biggest thing is I just don't want it to become a distraction to the rest of the team. That's the biggest thing from my standpoint. The Eagles and Bears kick off at 8.30 p.m. Monday night.